Harry and Meghan's restlessness at the award ceremony after receiving confidential news. Royal family agrees to put Kate at the center. Hello, friends. Welcome to Breaking Royal News about the notorious hypocritical couple, Harry and Meghan Markle, on our Kate Middleton and the Queen News version 2 channel. In a gesture of support, the King and Queen Consort will attend the Princess of Wales's annual carol service at Westminster Abbey on the day that the second episode of Harry and Meghan's Netflix documentary premieres. King Charles, Queen Consort Camilla, and Prince William will attend the carol service on December 15th that Kate Middleton is organizing. This event will take place just hours after the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's 88 million pound docuseries debuts on the streaming service, according to a statement from Kensington Palace today. The royal family will gather around the Princess of Wales for her carol service at Westminster Abbey in an effort to divert attention away from the discussion around the documentary. After giving viewers of Good Morning Britain the option of voting for one of three songs, Kate, 40, just announced that she will include O oh Come All Ye Faithful in the service. On Christmas Eve, ITV1 will broadcast it. The service's goals are to acknowledge acts of selfless, selflessness by people and communities around the UK and to emphasize how crucial it is to help those in need. The Princess of Wales's band is the driving force behind the event, which is backed by the Royal Foundation. It will highlight the pleasure of forming connections and participating in neighborhood activities that help individuals in tough and tragic circumstances. It is intended to be appealing to both those who practice all major religions and those who do not. Some distinguished visitors will be welcomed to the Abbey to commemorate these principles in honor of their work on behalf of others. Zara and Mike Tyndall, Sophie Wessex, and her husband, Prince William, were all present at the princess's celebration from the previous year. Princesses Beatrice and Eugenie were spotted participating in the hymns and carols while at the event. The princess's siblings, James and Pippa, as well as her parents, Carol and Michael Middleton, joined her at the event, making it a family affair. The Prince of Wales and ITV broadcaster Kate Garraway both spoke to the congregation during the ceremony after being requested to do so. To commemorate the occasion, decorations will be placed throughout Westminster Abbey, where some of the most well-known Christmas songs and readings will be presented. ITV's Head of Entertainment Commissioning, Katie Rockcliffe, stated, It is a true pleasure to once again serve as the broadcast partner for the Royal Carols. Viewers will receive a very special holiday surprise. The Royal Family took advantage of this event to call Harry back to the Royal Family. It is true that Harry loved hanging with William and Kate before the other one showed up. So if this is directed at Kate... It comes from a jealous, vindictive, narcissistic wife, the same one who disowned her own family. Not just the Princess of Wales, her entire family welcomed him in like one of their own. Because the Windsors celebrate the German tradition of having dinner and exchanging gifts on Christmas Eve, they all used to go over to the Middletons for, dare it to be said, a more relaxed, middle-class Christmas the next day. He was invited on holidays with them and her uncle, and he got to play with the kids to fill the gap he had in his own life. Just like he said when he took Megan to Balmoral for Christmas, that his family were like the family she never had. He said that Kate was like the sister he never had, referencing the fact his mother desperately wanted a third child. Just appalling how he has allowed Catherine to be treated, and now monetizes her for his own family's profit as well. Simply everything these despicable pair have done emanates from one person, the person who has a long list of using people and then discarding them, made them serve a purpose, the person who publicly disowned her father in front of the eyes of the world, the same person who has told lie after lie after lie, time and time again. 
Royal Insider said Meghan absolutely hates royal rules, especially bowing to greet her husband's cousins. She thought the brothers were equal and could do the same things with the same honors. I remember reading there was an issue with curtsying to Kate. If William wasn't in the room, Kate had to be courteous to his cousins. But if Will was in the room, she had only to be cured courteous to the Queen and Charles. It must have come as a surprise to Harry's wife that she had to be courteous to everyone. The quarrel started when Meghan realized that she would never have Kate's elegance nor her culture and knowledge of good manners following the codes of English society. Everything that followed found its source in jealousy. I bet Meghan was gutted last year when Kate played the piano to accompany a performer for her carol concert. She won't allow herself to be upstaged this year. It was all deliberately done to try and outshine the Prince and Princess of Wales, but it didn't work, and it won't work for Princess Catherine's carol service either, and Catherine will shine like the star she is. With all of the royals being there, the attention will be on the event and not the toxic duo. Catherine must be so devastated by Meghan's constant attacks on her, but Catherine has the love of the people holding her up. She has never stopped supporting the UK and the good of the people. Catherine never falters and never complains. No doubt she cries when no one's looking, but then she composes herself and serves the nation dutifully. When she came to Boston, it was eye-opening to see how truly professional and dignified she really is. I thought, ah, Megan can't control her jealousy and envy. This simply boils down to the new girl being jealous of the established popular girl. To overcome her inferiority complex, she enlisted the help of a stupid man and manipulated him by using the death of his mother and his own inferiority complex toward his older brother. It's obvious to anyone with any knowledge of the human psyche. Can't believe Harry is trying to ruin the royal family's Christmas. It's been a terrible year, losing the queen, and now, the first Christmas without her, they are having to put up with this rubbish. He is trying to ruin all their lives. How terribly vindictive. And the constant monetizing of his mother. How low. Note to self, Harry, you are not an only child. Your sibling doesn't try to cash in on his mother's name. It would appear that everywhere Megan goes, there's turmoil. Her family has all been chastised and made to look like ogres. And then there's the royal family who has done the same. All those courtiers who have left should have a voice in all this noise. I'm sure they would tell a much different story. What do you think about Kate's brilliance in the royal family making hypocrites Megan jealous? Let us know your thoughts below in the comment section. We hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you like it. Thank you for watching this newsletter. See you in the next videos. Goodbye.